Hello everybody. Um, ready for today's shave. Got about two and a half days of growth. Really looking forward to getting cleaned up. Today I'm going to be using the Ming Shi Q Shave. Anyway, it is a future clone. I'm not sure if you can see it. But in my opinion, it's a very good looking razor. Going to be using, yes, Arco. Decent performer. Uh, post shave. I'm in love with this stuff. Good stuff. And probably going to be following up a little bit of Bay Rum. I know the scent profiles don't match, but I'm going to use what I want to use. All right. Have the Arco in the bottom of my stainless bowl. Just a little bit of water. You can't hardly see the water. It's been blooming just for a couple minutes. The brush I'm going to use, and I noticed after I took my little picture from my thumbnail that I didn't have my brush in there. It's going to be the 10049 Omega. Little candle glass I just picked up from the uh, Wall Marketplace. A little bit of shake out on the brush and we'll get going hope everybody's had a decent week my last video was uh, outside temperature here in Cincinnati it's 55 degrees today it was five sorry I don't have the Celsius conversion my metric friends but from decently warm to decently cold. The ladder's building up nicely. We'll push it down a couple times. Sorry about the banging with the bowl. I just don't have the self-control not to do it. All right. I do also want to show you how to load this the razor or the uh, the blade into the razor with it being um, a clone of course the tolerances are not as tight as with the real thing I enjoy the shave um, with this is it worth the price difference I don't know it really matters on your thoughts, you know, if you want to mess around with being sure you have proper blade, 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 blade alignment. I don't know what's going on with me today. Proper blade alignment with this, you know, take a minute or two every time you load it and it don't bother you. It's probably the way to go. But like I said, the shave that I've had with the, with the Q shave has been pretty good. All right, as you can see, well, you can't see that because I haven't shown you. The lather's looking pretty good. You know, push it down on the side. Keep it going. You do that a few times, and I've had very, very little issues. All right, this little razor. Wipe my hands off. You... The top, right like that. Today I'm going to be using a fresh Astro Blade. I like the Astro Blades. You got your top cap like that. Put the blade in, and from here it's just kind of a play game. Push it down. Be sure you have good even alignment on both sides. That seems to work for me. Okay. We will get the face wet. I apologize for the faucet going. I have a bowl of water over here, but yet I still focus on turning on the faucet and making that loud ruckus. Okay. Hopefully everybody's had a good week. I don't know if I said that once, but Looking forward to the next week.
Work has been busy. Of course. I've always told them they just need to pay me for being so cool and hanging around there all day, but last time they gave me one of these looks. Okay. Hopefully, I remember to step down the aggressiveness of the razors. I'm starting out today first pass on number four. Then we'll see where it goes. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Just to thin it out. I'll take it off the ear now and take it off the ear again later. You may hear a bell in the background. That's my dog. I had trained her to ring a bell when she wants to go outside. Now, it's cold out. She'll ring the bell. I'll open up the door. And she runs the other way. Yeah. You know, bell training sounds great. You know, you train your dog to ring the bell, go outside, don't have any accidents. And I haven't, I haven't had any accidents. However, when she sees a squirrel or a rabbit or a leaf blowing around in the backyard she wants to play with, she ah, hits the bell. Okay, we're gonna get going with this Q shave gonna warm up the blade and we're gonna get at it I'm gonna go, go here in a little bit to uh one of the best places and get another holder for my camera or my phone um, simply because this one I'd like to be able to use the forward-facing camera and I'm, or the rear-facing camera and I'm not okay first pass Q-shave Astro Blade Arcus Hope why am I whispering Said I enjoy this razor. Some people complain the head's too big. Yeah, it's a big head. If you don't notice it being a big head before you buy it, it's kind of your fault. Nice feedback with this razor. You know you're cutting something. Hopefully not yourself, just the hairs. As far as my trimming and getting close, I have a little Chevette, shave it, not Chevette. You know what I mean. That I use, and I always cut myself here and here. So there's no use for me to get too close. 
with all that. Decent first pass. It's hard to tell anything first pass usually. And today, I'm actually going to try to look at the camera. My last video I was looking, I was like, why am I not looking anywhere but where I should be? So like I said, I'm new to this. Please bear with me. I will get better. That's the goal. The goal is never to get worse. Rinse my face. As you can see, we'll get back into it. Future shaves coming up. Not future as in future. Not like the clone I'm using. Not like the Q shave. Ming Shi, whatever you want to call it, razor I'm using. But for things I plan on doing, I want to get me some William soap. I'm going to practice once or twice off camera. I have something in my mind. I don't know if it'll work. But we're going to try something a little bit different. All right, that looks decent for a number two pads. You want things a little bit thinner, or I want things a little bit thinner for more slide than I do cushion. First pass is on number four. What does everybody think for? This pass, maybe three. Now let's try three. Now also, what I like to do is use a towel to dial it down. Maybe very difficult to see on camera. Actually, the first pass was at 4.5. It's still dialed down to a three. 3.5. I like using a towel when I twist this up and down. It just, to me, is a little bit of extra insurance. That way, if you do slip, you have something in between your bare skin and the and the blade. It may not help, but I don't think that hurts. Anytime you can do something like that and increase your chances of not cutting yourself. We need to do it. Yes, Cincy, that was for you, buddy. Pass two. Across the green ear nose. Now, on my neck, I generally go up on this pass. And once again, ear to nose. At this setting, you can still hear it working, but it is quite a bit milder. I usually almost always forget to step down the aggressiveness. Until past three and I go, oh, I didn't use the razor what it was intended for. Then I'll say, Jim, remember next time. Jim, don't remember next time. Like I said, I have to go and get me another thing for the phone. An old caddy wampus when I get close. I'm, right now it's an old suction cup thing. I have about that much 
room in between the phone and the glass. Wow, that was nice, close. Amazing. Really like that. Wow. All right. Last pass. This video is going to be a little bit longer than my other ones. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. I'm playing around with a different photo editor also. Maybe in a couple more weeks. We'll have a little bit of a different look. All right, I think that's going to be good enough for pass number three. Where did we say we was with this razor? 3.5, I think. Oh, get out the old eyes. 3.5. Let's go down to uh, 2.5. That sound good? Or 2. 2.5. 2.5, yeah. Here we go. Pass number three. Generally, I go across the growth. Today, I want to go across the growth the opposite direction on the face. Um, on the neck, I don't know. I may just do a little pickup on the neck. Yeah, it was, it was that good. Yeah, there's hardly anything left. Hardly anything left. That's the goal though, isn't it guys? For 20 bucks, my opinion, I'd throw, I'd throw it at this razor again. Especially knowing what I know now. It would break, whatever. I would definitely throw another 20 bucks at it. Is it as good as the future? Can't tell you. Would I buy a future? Mm, I don't know. With this currently in my lineup, probably not. What, I buy a progress, progress? Maybe. That may be my next razor purchase. Very happy with this shave. Very, very happy. I better stop. If not, I'll be irritated and say, oh, that was a horrible shave. I'm very happy. I'm going to stop. Um, rinse off. Prep up a little bit. Clear the old mind. Then I'll be right back with the post. And once again, we're going to be finishing up with the Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1. Love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. A little bit. A little plop. Probably a little bit on the much side. Just a hair of water. I could have probably actually used a little bit more water, but. Yeah, I am recording. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. And like I said, Clubman Bay Room. I know the scent doesn't match the Arco or the AV5-in-1. But I'm going to use what I want to use. It's just the way I roll. Ain't that right? Oh, good stuff.
Oh, so happy. I want to thank everybody for joining me today, previous videos and everything. I greatly appreciate everyone that has commented, liked and everything. Um, I've, like I said, I've met some really cool people. I uh, want to thank everybody that's uh, thrown a shout out to me and I need to do the same for them. Sensi Shaves, check out his stuff. Great stuff. Blind Man Shaves, great sense of humor, buddy. Also, uh, C. Kiefer, I missed you on my last one. Thank you very much, Carl, for the shout out. Um, looking forward to everybody's future videos. And once again, thank everyone. It's been really fun for me. Um, I thank all subscribers. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, eh, try another video. We'll, we'll get it eventually. All right, everyone. Until next time, be careful, best wishes, and happy shaves to you.